Today's learning intention is learning to differentiate sine x and cos x. So differentiating sine x and cos x are trig functions. To differentiate expressions involving trig functions, we use the table of standard derivatives. Now you'll find this on the formula list in every exam you've got. Now let's look at it. On the left hand side we have the function f of x with the function sine ax and cos ax. Now when we differentiate sine ax, the derivative on the right hand side of the table is a cos ax. And when we differentiate cos ax, then on the right hand side of the table we've got the derivative equals negative a sine ax. Where a is just a number, it's a coefficient of x. And we'll do some examples so that we're confident using this table of standard derivatives. So again, as I said, this table is given on the formula sheet. But we have to be careful that these rules only work when the angle x is in radians, so we're going to have to revise our radian measures, not our degrees. So example 1a, differentiate f of x equals 3 sine x. So again, we'll look at our table of standard derivatives. We're looking down the left hand side of our function. I want to differentiate the function 3 sine x. So I'm looking at the sine x, I'm going to highlight that on my table. Now a is just the number 1, there's nothing before the x and as you know from differentiation the 3 is a constant, we can just leave it alone, that's 3 times the function sine x, Okay, 3 is just a constant. So the derivative is going to be cos x, so derivative equals 3 cos x, now the 3 is just a multiplier, we we'll leave it alone, the derivative of sine x is cos x. Let's try a harder example, example 1b. Let's try and differentiate y equals 2 cos 4x. So that's 2 times cos 4x. Again, we look at our table of standard derivatives. I'm wanting to differentiate a cos function. I look down my table, I'm going to highlight that. So the derivative of cos ax is minus a sine ax. So here I have y equals 2 cos 4x. So dy by dx, now watch your notation, just make sure it's just um, kept the same throughout your question. So dy by dx equals, the 2 we leave alone, and cos 4x becomes minus 4 sine 4x according to our table of standard derivatives. And we can tidy that up and simplify that to dy by dx equals negative sine 4x. Right, harder again, let's go. Example 1c, differentiate f of x equals minus 4 cos a half x. So again look at our table of standard derivatives and again we're looking at um, cosine function so when the function is cos ax the derivative is minus a sine ax. So f dash x equals, leave the minus 4 alone, that's just a constant, I'm going to differentiate the function, I get minus a half sine a half x, just following exactly what the table of standard derivatives says. And I can simplify that now. The minus 4 times minus a half becomes 2. So I've got f dash x equals 2 sine a half x. Example 2. A function f is defined by f of x equals sine x minus 2 cos x. And the question asks you to find f dash at pi over 3. It's a little bit more complicated. Let's take it a step at a time. Let's find the derivative. So I write down the function f of x equals sine x minus cos 2x. Now this is just a series of trigonomic functions, so we differentiate each one individually. Look at our table of standard derivatives. Right, first off, I want to differentiate sine x. So I look down on the table. So sine x, the derivative is cos x. A is just 1 in this example. So let's look at the second term. I've got minus 2 cos x. Now minus 2 is just a multiplier, so I want to differentiate cos x. So I'll leave the minus 2 alone, I differentiate cos x, and that becomes minus sine x. And now all I have to do is tidy that up. So f dash x equals cos x plus 2 sine x. That's our first step done. I found the derivative. Now I want to evaluate that derivative at the angle pi by 3. So f dash at pi by 3 equals... I just substitute in x, cos pi by 3 plus 2 sine pi by 3. So what's pi by 3? 
back to example on radians. <coughs> so pi by 3 equals 100 degrees divided by 3, which is just 60 degrees. Now, often this can be in a non-calculator paper, so we have to get good with the exact value triangles. So exact value triangles, I always remember these are in degrees, and then if I've got radian measure, I just convert it. So I have got my triangle here. I've, it's a 60, 30, 90 triangle. But I've changed that over now to pi by 3, pi by 6, and 90 degrees. Um, and my side hypotenuse is 2. Okay. So I've got 1, 2, root 3 going round. So using that, then I can work out what cos pi by 3 is. So f dash at pi by 3 equals cos pi by 3 adjacent over hypotenuse is a half plus 2 times sine pi by 3 is opposite over hypotenuse is root 3 over 2. I'm just going to tidy that up now. That tells me derivative equals a half plus root 3. Okay, the two is cancel top and bottom, and I can't simplify that any further, so I just leave that alone. That's the exact value. Example 3. A function f is defined by f of x equals 3 cos x plus 4 sine 2x. Find f dash at pi by 4. So again, let's start, find the derivative. So f of x equals 3 cos x plus 4 sine 2x. I then have to write down a table of standard derivatives. This is always found at the front of your formula sheet. So I take each term in turn. So first of all, I'm looking at the 3 cos x. That's just 3 times the function cos x. And I'm just differentiating the function. So f dash x equals 3 times minus sine x. Derivative of cos x is negative sine x. Now I'm going to differentiate the second term, the sine 2x. I leave the 4 alone. And if I differentiate sine 2x from my table of values, I'm left with 2 cos 2x. Now here the number m2 is the same as the term a. It's the coefficient of x. I can tidy that up now. I've got f dash x equals minus 3 sine x plus 8 cos 2x. And then I'm going to evaluate that for pi by 4. Okay, so what angle is pi by 4? So I'm going to substitute it into my function. I've got minus 3 sine pi by 4 plus 8 cos 2 times pi by 4. So let's think about it. So pi by 4, pi is 180 degrees. So it's 180 divided by 4, which is 45 degrees. And again, that's one of our exact value triangles. Okay, 45, 45, 90 triangle as shown here. Okay. So you remember them as degrees and then convert them into radians. So now I can use that to work out my derivative. So f dash at pi by 4 equals... Okay, now I've just tidied that up there. I've got minus 3 sine pi by 4 plus 8 cos pi by 2. Now the sine pi by 4 is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's 1 over root 2. So I've got minus 3 times 1 over root 2 plus 8 times, now cos of pi by 2, cos of 90, you need to memorise that, cos of 90 is 0. Okay, so you have to remember what your cos cosine function looks like, what your sine function looks like. Because pi by 2 is just 180 over 2, which is just 90. And here's our graphs here, it's our sine and cosine graphs, we need to have these memorised. I've written them down in radians, but you'll remember them in degrees as well. Okay, so cos pi by 2 is 0. So finish off then, f dash at pi by 4 is simply minus 3 over root 2. That's an exact value and I'll just leave it like that. Right, now it's take your turn. Try these examples on your own. These are past papers, just to give you an idea of the standard we're looking for. 3 marks and 4 marks. So you can now pause me and take your time. So 7 marks, you take about 7 minutes, try and do it in that time. And then come back and get the answers. Good luck. So here's your answers, okay? So first one, 3 marks was dead easy. dy by dx, now be careful, the function's y equals, so you must write down dy by dx. The question asks you to find dy by dx. If you write f dash x, it's a good chance you're going to get a mark taken off. 
So to divide by dx equals 3 cos x minus 2 sine 2x, 3 marks. Okay, you're going to get 1 mark for the first term. Okay, and 2 marks for the second term because that's a bit more involved. Next one, if f of x equals cos 2x minus 3 sine 4x. Now they put that in brackets there. They do that quite often. Okay, but that doesn't mean anything. You can just leave them out. Find the exact value of f dash at pi by 6. And here's the steps following the marking scheme on SQA. So there was one mark for differentiating, starting to differentiate, and you were taking control of the first term. So cos 2x becomes, um, derivative becomes minus 2 sine 2x. Then your second mark is for dealing with the second term. So when you differentiate minus 3 sine 4x, you get minus 12 cos 4x. And then your other two marks were for subbing in pi by 6 and then for evaluating to get 6 minus root 3. Now if you're not sure how to do that, ask the teacher and we'll go over that in class for you. Well, we've learned how to differentiate trig functions sine x and cos x. Your key steps were just to learn how to use the table of standard derivatives. It's given in the exam, but some people find it tricky on how to use it. Right, see you in class tomorrow.